I turn these selfies into some epic AI art. Uh, all we need is a computer, it can be old, with any graphics card, and a Google Drive account. The best part is, it's free. Not like free as in, you take the red pill, and you wake up and AI is ruling the world. Or, dial this number in the next 10 minutes and it's free. So let's get started. Let's get some code, chat to our friendly AI, and take some selfies. You need to take around 20 to 30 selfies. There shouldn't be any other people in them and you shouldn't cover your face. The aim is to get varying backgrounds, varying lighting scenarios in all your selfies. So you can see I took a whole bunch of these just around my house, different lighting with lights behind me. And I would recommend getting one or two side profiles and one or two full body shots. All we've got to do is resize these photos to 512 pixels by 512 pixels. I use Photoshop to crop my photos uh, to 512 pixels by 512 pixels, but there's a lot of online free tools. Uh, Burmi is a really good one that's very easy to use. Okay, so that's the hard part done. So now we've got all our photos in a folder and we're just gonna rename them to something. It doesn't really matter. It's just what the AI is gonna recognize as your name for the photos. And then you rename all of them the next photo is one, two, three, four, with the same name. Okay, so let's get some code and train our model. You can find the Colab link below, or you can click on the GitHub page, which will take you to the full explanation of what else you can do with this model. Once you click on the Colab link, it will take you to a page that looks like this. Now, there's two things we've got to check before we start. Click on the wrong time, change runtime type, and just change that to GPU. So now let's make a copy of this into our Google Drive. So you click File, Save a Copy into Drive. Now we're done setting up. All you got to do is click these play buttons on the side and run through the prompts. So run anyway. The first one's going to ask you to connect to a Google Drive account. So you just got to log into yours. Once it's done, a little check mark will come up uh, mm -hmm. and you move on to the next one. Now down to model download. So you can see you can change the version of the model. Uh, 1.5 gives you more artistic yeah. ones and uh, version 2 gives you like more realistic. So depending on what you want to achieve, I would choose that. 1.5 is great for most things. Okay, now that that's all set up, uh, we're going to need to create the session. So insert the name that you named your first photo. Uh, so you can use this in your prompts later. So I'm just going to name it what I named on. Okay, now we need to upload our photos. So just turn off the smart crop images because uh, sometimes that messes it up. And then click run. Now a little tab will open up that will let us upload photos. Just select all of the photos and click open. Now you'll see your photos will start uploading and once that's done we're going to moving on to training the model. For this tutorial we can skip these other tabs, just go down to training. And the first thing you want to do is change the learning rate to a slower learning rate which is that 2E6 and change the training steps to 3000 and do the same for the encoder. You can leave the training steps at 250. So what this does is it trains the model slower, uh, which gives us a better result at the end of the day. just means you have to wait longer for the training process to complete. And let's start. One eternity later. After an hour, your model should be finished training. Um, one thing that you must do is about every 15 minutes, you're going to just need to click on this little folder thing in this in, on the left there, just so that doesn't time out. Okay, so let's try test our model. So once you click run, eventually a link will pop up which you can click on and that will take you to the window where we generate the prompts. I've put a link in the description of all my prompts that I've generated if you want examples. But the first thing you need to do is um, start the prompt with your name that you named your first photo so that it picks up the model that you generated. 
and then put in the negative prompts quite important is the stuff that you don't want to be in the scene and then the only other things are to up the amount of photos that are going to be generated and then the steps I make it normally around about 60 and then we click generate.